Hi, I'm Scott Rocknack, and we're going to check the moisture on Wren. This will be a very exciting video, but I'm going to go through it quickly with this moisture meter, which is a good one, and we're going to check above and below the water line, and particularly we're going to check any kind of connection on the hull. So what I'm just going to say is dry, moist, or wet. And uh, it's green, yellow, or red. Dry, 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 dry. These are all low dries, by the way. Dry, dry, dry. These are all dry. I'll change. If I find something that's not dry, I'll mention it. I can also hit this with a hammer, too, for delamination. But we're all dry here. Usually, if the boat is dry low, it won't be wet up above. Dry, dry. So the splash rail is all dry. Dry. Still dry. Dry above it. I'm just randomly doing the hull. I'm not too concerned. I don't really usually see that being wet if it's not wet below it. Dry, dry. I'll crawl underneath the boat and do the parts I'm missing. This is all dry. 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 It's a nice sunny day for this. Yesterday was too wet. There's the air intake. That's all dry. Okay, this is uh, right on the border of dry and moist, but only right, right here it's on the border, just moist. But dry here, dry here, now I'll go underneath the boat, <clears throat> there'll be a wet box that might be wet, but we'll check that too. This is all dry, now the core changes right about here. It's all the same reading. It's all dry, all in the green, way, way in the green. There's an engine intake back there. I think we'll look at that. Dry, dry, dry. Okay, now we're near the engine intake. Got an eelgrass strainer on it. It's dry outboard, dry behind it, dry in front of it dry underneath. Now I'm on the wet box, which probably isn't wet because it's got a tube. That's dry, dry, dry. Even near the bottom it's dry where you'd expect it to be wet from water inside. That's all dry. <coughs> Stern bearing is all dry. I can't check the uh, rudder because it's stainless steel. So it's not a fiberglass rudder, it's stainless. Let's check the back of the boat. Okay, that shows moist right there. Not wet, but moist in the middle of the yellow. Could be a fuel hose or a fuel tank behind there. We should look at that. Dry, 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 moist. Just at the beginning of moist. So that's about 2%. Dry, 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 dry. There's a Joko crack here. Let's check that. That's dry. Moist here, dry there. Moist right there shows wet. We'll find out what's on the other side of that. Moist. Moist here, dry, dry, dry moist, 
dry, dry on the border, but still dry. Dry, dry, dry. We'll check underneath too. I'm gonna check underneath here by the brackets. This is right on the line of dry and moist. Still technically dry, that's moist. Dry, 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 dry. Uh, that, that right there shows moist, but I can take the paint off and see if it's the paint. That shows moist. Remember, it's not wet, it's moist. That's on the border of dry and moist. Border, moist, moist, dry, dry, border, border, border. Uh, actually, that's moist on the outside. There's a Joko ding there, and that's where it's showing moist on the hull. This little area right here shows wet for some reason. I gotta look behind and see what's there. There's something there. This is all dry. Okay, so we have, we have to see if it's wet inside the boat because the boat could have condensated. But if it's actually wet there, then these are lag screws, I think, and they'll come out and be rebedded. That would be the ideal thing. If there's gonna be a tuna door ever added to the boat in the middle, then that would get rid of that one spot up there. But so far, no alarms, but just things to look at. For a different angle, we'll try this side from the back. Okay, that shows moist there, dry here. Borderline there, borderline. Dry, dry, dry above it. Borderline dry, moist there, dry. So my guess is these two or three aft screws should be rebedded. Dry, 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 all dry, 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 dry. This is dry, this is dry, that's dry. There's some stuff on the outside of the hull, like a dirt or something on the road trip that was showing wet, but it's dry now, it's all dry. Dry, 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 dry here, 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 dry, dry, all dry, low dry, it's all dry. Two vents, dry, dry, it's all dry, dry. Dry, all dry. It's all dry. It's dry. Dry. That's all dry. Dry. There are a couple through holes back here of depth sounder and a another intake for something, probably for the shaft log. Dry. We'll check those intakes in a second. That's all dry. Oh, here are the intakes. Dry. Dry, it's a depth sounder. Dry, dry, dry. That's a basic depth sounder too, it's not a fish finder. Dry, dry, dry. That's all dry. That's dry. Dry, dry. Wet box or open area, dry. 
It's not really a wet box because it's got a tube. Dry, 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 dry. Okay, so bottom's all dry. Since the transom showed a couple areas that were moist or dry, I'm just going to tap it. Nothing delaminated. There's something behind that, and I'll have to see what it is. That might be what set off the moiter, meter. That sounds a little different there. It's not delaminated, but I'll have to see what's behind it.